Welcome back to Super Saturday here at the Margaret River Pro. Flying through some heavy heats this morning at the box. A rare opportunity to score one of the craziest slabs in the world. That featured on uh, a lot of page number ones on the surfing magazines. Getting a lot of cover shots. And it's a special day to score in the middle of the waiting period. Cardoso trying to get a jump start on Kelly. And he'll take a wipeout to get this heat rolling. Sad pots, Kelly. Tries to hang on to that barrel. Seeing the spit first, you never know what Kelly's up to. Was still anticipating him coming out, but he got caught pretty deep right after he set up the barrel section. I can't see anything. There's these ledges that stand up on the inside. Look at this thing. Kelly Slater finds himself a beauty. Wow, but see the little ledges off the end there. When you're in the tube coming out, it's so hard to negotiate those if you can't see them. So centering your balance almost on your back foot which is the opposite of where you'd want to be coming out of most barrels on the front foot. We're here in the box. There's so many surprises. What happened on this one, Pops? Yeah, well, you can see how he, he kind of got his weight forward going down the face of the wave. And, and that's kind of a unique thing with surfing. You know, you, you, you have to lean forward going down a steep face of the wave to get that momentum and that drive and set that rail. And then once you're in there, then you kind of transfer your weight back onto the back foot. You can see Kelly coming out with a little more weight on the back foot. So. Halfway through that ride, he really had to shift his weight forward. Uh, sorry, from forward to backwards. Right there, you can see now he starts to step on that tail and keep that nose out of the water. He's not going to make the same mistake twice. And Kelly Slater puts a completed ride on the board. Beautiful conditions here this morning, and we have one of the greatest of all times out there having some fun. And trying to get a jump start on Cardoso, takes off late behind him. Now trying to slam the brakes into the pit. Gets a quick vision there before it shuts down. You can see how technical he is in a short space. Cardoso over the ledge, oh. straight down. And the Panda just rolling over on the takeoff. Getting sent so far on the inside reef. You can see him popping up there. Comes Kelly. Stomps that takeoff and oh. gets clipped as he tried to put himself on that second chamber. So last way before he had to bottom turn into that higher line to get barreled. That one he got clipped on the bottom. Put him on his toes. He wants to feel butterflies when he takes off. That's why he's addicted to waves like this. Straightens out, bottom turn, stalling. This one will suck him up into the pit and over the foam ball, but a nasty step on the exit takes him down. And again, that wave didn't let him in on the takeoff, so he might have to rethink his wave selection, Joe. You want to get those ones that you take off behind the peak and drive straight into the barrel. He did. He almost got the heat, and um, yeah, it's just, he's such a good surfer, and he's good in any kind of conditions, and back in barrels is not a problem for him, and I'm very, very happy to make this heat, and, you know, make through Gabriel in round three has been very special for me. Unbelievable. Nine minutes on the clock, Kelly scratches into this one. He's got some room to move on a smaller wave. Gets a completion there. Low score at the moment of 3.0. And Cardoso just being patient after his last wave gave him a, a serious beating across the reef. Kelly with his hands in the air, just uh, seeing if they're going to switch priority because he felt William paddled for a wave during the break. Cardoso holds priority, but he'll use it quickly. Bottom turns, pulls into a pit, makes it. The Panda's first completion so far in this heat as we see Williams last week. Beautiful positioning there, and again, had to go down and bottom turn. I think the conditions are changing uh, quite a bit. You can see he had to wait for that little check turn. Beautiful positioning there from Cardoso. Comes out nice and clean, so definitely his best wave. And again, just comes off the bottom nicely. Little check turn, and look at that. I mean, that's so perfect right there. These guys are loving their job here this morning. It's it is scary yet. Now Kelly locks in. Deeper section. Comes out high. Kicks out quickly to enter into the paddle battle for priority with 6.50 to go. William digging deep to try to beat him for the spot back to priority. Did Kyo talk about how he was uh, a ham and cheese sandwich on the reef, but it was all worth it for getting those tube rides and 
taken down Gabriel Medina Kelly. How was that? Excellent on that one. Steps everywhere. That tide is starting to bottom out a little bit, Joe, so it's going to get a little sketchier as uh, these guys come out of their tubes. He's last a 4-2-3. Cardoso only needs a 3-7-3 now. Here comes Kelly. Bottom drops out. Wide open pit. Comes out with a spit. Kelly can't help but celebrate a beautiful barrel ride. You see, that was a different approach there. Obviously, riding that smaller board allowed him to get straight in and set that edge instead of having to go down and around it. After that last wave from Kelly Slater, he's going to need a lot more. Let's have a look again. Right behind the peak, takes off, drops over that ledge, a critical part of the wave right there. And Kelly Slater comes out nice and clean. And when Kelly claims, he doesn't often do that. That was a sketchy little wave there for Kelly Slater. He had to use every ounce of his ability, his knowledge of tube riding. Watch how he slows down on the takeoff. And then watch him go off the ledge here. Goes over the ledge right there. Has to extend the body. Comes out of the tube and then pulls back in. Disappears yet again. So it was almost a double tube ride. Strider, front row seats. Kelly comes out. Wow, what a wave there for Kelly Slater. Action important ride for Cardoso. Had to come around the corner and then try to slot himself as deep as he could. Numbers for Kelly on the previous wave of 5.83, the best of the heat so far. So William needed a 5.4 on that last wave, still with 45 seconds. Look at the scores. The scores aren't reflecting on how far ahead Kelly should be. You know, I think Kelly's just really took this heat by the horns and Cardoso's had a few wipeouts. He's only now really starting to look comfortable. Crazy one, ledging off the reef, stalling is Kelly. And now he'll just enjoy the rest of that ride with 10 seconds to go. Both athletes in the water taking some serious wipeouts. Kelly with the board change then to get his better numbers. The slight lead over William Cardoso. William has one previous upset against Kelly who's at Bells a long time ago. And Kelly's had a long time to wait for the rematch, this time at the slab called the box here at Margaret River. As the last couple of numbers come through, William was hoping for a 5-4 at the end. Paddled into one, but didn't get that barrel in the takeoff pots and tried to do the best he could to get the tail end of it. It's not going to be enough, and Kelly Slater is able to move on. Kelly's already right next to the Wads.